After seeing story after story about hidden treasure in the walls of older homes, I'm about ready to start buying up old properties with the hopes of finding something amazing inside the walls. Although with my kind of luck, the only things I'll be finding in the walls are dust and probably bones from a mouse that couldn't make its way out in time. Well, the couple you're about to read about has much better luck than I do. They moved into their home about two years ago, which was purchased as a fixer-upper. They started working on each room, then once that room was done, they'd move on to the next. It was time for them to remodel the kitchen. They know that their house had had six previous owners. Here's what they found. While remodeling their kitchen, they found a safe in the floor after they tore out the kitchen island. The safe looked relatively old and was built into the floor really well. When they first moved in, they found a safe code in a medicine cabinet. They weren't sure what the code belonged to, but held on to it just in case. The safe looked to be about 10 to 20 years old, and after trying to open it a few times, it finally unlocked. When they opened the safe, they stood there in disbelief. They felt as if time had stopped. They were staring at piles of money, an old bottle of liquor, a blue book, and what appeared to be an old bingo card. Her husband was a little hesitant about reaching in for the items in case the safe was booby-trapped. Luckily for them, the safe was not booby-trapped. Inside was about $50,000, mostly in $100 bills. When they counted it, it ended up being $51,080. This bottle of James E. Pepper was also found in the safe. Per Wikipedia, it's credited as being the inventor of the old-fashioned, which is basically whiskey, bitters, a sugar cube, and a lemon peel, although there are a lot of variations out there. The seal was still intact, and the seal stated that the tax stamp was 1960, aged six years. From the looks of it, this whiskey is top-notch and extremely rare to find. The book was titled A Guide for the Perplexed by E. F. Schumacher. It was published in 1977. When they opened the book, they found a picture of Gregory Peck, but upon further examination, it appears the book was trying to give them some clues, specifically on pages 1, 7, 11, and 14. On the back of the picture, there was a note that read, Alan, I have a book you must read. I've underlined a few key passages, your friend Vincent. When they got to page 7, they found a map of Arizona. It looked like a bookmark at first, but it wasn't. This was more of a flash card that had an X over the city of Mesa, which is just outside of Phoenix. The front of the card had an outline of Arizona, which was highlighted in green amongst the other mountain states. On page 7, they found a passage that had been underlined. It was located in the chapter titled on philosophical maps. The passage read, One way of looking at the world as a whole is by means of a map. That is to say, some sort of plan or outline that shows where various things are to be found. Next up was page 11. There was a picture of a house or an old estate with the sentence underlined that said, there yielded such fruitful results. They found another picture that had been stored in the book and on the back of the photo it read, where one tree becomes three. This is almost sounding like a treasure hunt of sorts. They're not sure what this photo is of or where this three-headed tree may be. Hopefully, someone can help them. Next up was page 14. They found another underlined passage that read, Most modern readers will be reluctant to believe that perfect happiness is attainable by methods of which their modern world knows nothing. There are three numbers circled on the bingo card that was found. Her husband pointed out that the safe that they found in their house has a three-digit code, so maybe the three numbers on the bingo card are to the safe near the three-headed tree. They haven't decided what to do with the money yet, but they do know that the note on the back of the picture was addressed to Alan. So if Alan sees this, there's your cash. But they have said they're keeping the James E. Pepper whiskey. This is such an amazing find. Not only did they find the safe, but it gave them something to keep an eye out for. Where is this three-headed tree? What is the meaning behind the underlying passages in the book? And why are there three numbers on this bingo card? The way they stacked it up in the safe means that they wanted it to be kept for very safe keeping. Whoever placed it there did not want it to get messed up in any way. I hope in the future there's a follow-up to this story because it's pretty amazing.